Before we do anything else, we should run a quick update to make sure that all the packages we download are up to date. If you don't have curl on your system, you can start off by installing it. DigitalOcean droplets come with curl pre-installed. Now it's time to go ahead and install RVM using curl. After it's set installing, load RVM. In order to work, RVM has some of its own dependencies that need to be installed. You can see what these are by typing RVM requirements. Since we are installing Ruby, find the Ruby dependencies and install them using RVM sudo. You want to make sure that you don't use sudo itself, as it will install the dependencies in a different shell and there may be difficulties building Ruby apps down the line. On occasion, the zlib package may be reported as missing. The RVM website describes the issue and their solution in greater detail. You can find the link down below. Following the download of the Ruby dependencies, install RVM version 1.9.3. Press Q to continue here. Ruby is now installed. However, since we accessed it through a program that has a variety of Ruby versions, we need to tell RVM to use version 1.9.3 by default. We can use RVM to make sure that we have the latest version of Ruby Gems installed. If we don't have the latest version, this command will update. After all of the Ruby Gems are installed, Gem Install Rails installs Ruby on Rails and all of its dependencies. Thanks for watching DigitalOcean screencast on how to install Ruby on Rails on Ubuntu version 12.04 using RBM. All the commands that were used in this video are below and you can find a link to a written tutorial down below as well.